I've got a problem. And Sprinkler Warehouse has my solution. Yep, that's where I got this out of zone at sprinklerwarehouse.com. Hey there, it's Sprinkler Dude. Are you tired of battling electrical issues in your irrigation system? Do you need to add a new zone to your sprinkler system? Stop the frustration and start fixing the problem with an add -a zone This game-changing solution not only tackles broken wires and bad wire splices, but it also lets you add a new zone without running new wires or operate a split zone to handle low pressure. You know, when you have a really long zone, you want to split it in half, you don't got enough wires for that, an add -a zone will solve that problem. Best of all, you can do it without disturbing the existing landscape. Simplify your system and take control with add -a zone today. Zones one and two on this property used to work, but as you can see by all the dead grass, hasn't been working. And it's my suspicion that the construction down the way may have broke some wires. Didn't break the pipe because the water still makes it here. And here we go. This red wire here, this is our good wire. What I need to do to install this at a zone is I need to install the part that goes at the controller. This part here. So we'll go ahead and detach zone one and zone two. We know that zone two is the bad wire and zone one is the good wire. All right, we got wire nuts. It's actually a pretty simple installation. You just have to remember that the orange wire goes to the good wire. We'll use a waterproof wire nut. Orange wire to the good wire. All right, with zone two in, now we can install zone one. And again, I just chose to do that in that direction. You could do it any way you want. I know you just watched me install this product at the controller by putting it at zones one and two. Similar products can't be installed that way. This one can. Just make sure again, that orange wire gets connected to your good wire that's going out to the field. And in my case here, we're just gonna ignore the bad wire because it's broken in the field. With the blue wire installed into zone one, the brown wire installed into zone two, and the orange wire going to our good wire in the field that is going to the original zone one, we're good to go on this end. So we can go ahead and fold these back up nice and neat and stick them right here in the controller. Now, for a technician, this is easy to see. When you go to open this controller, you'll know that there's an add -a zone product on the property by seeing this little diode here. So, we'll close up the controller. And now it's time to go to the field to install the other half. Fun fact, did you know the add -a zone product has been on the market for more than 25 years? That's right. All right, here we are at the front of the property. At the two valves, we're gonna install the other half of the add -a zone. The controller for reference is behind the building over there. I know that this is zone number one, and this is zone number two here. So let's go ahead and open them up, see what we got here. Zone number one, zone number two, wire nuts, add -a zone. All right, we're gonna need some wire cutters and wire strippers. I am going to start by taking apart what we have here. All right, so let's look at what we have here. We have our wires coming from the controller, our good wire, the red wire for zone number one, and then we have our bad wire, the blue wire for zone number two. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of that wire, just kind of throw it down there in the bottom of the box. That was the wire that was broken in the field. All right, let's get a look at this nifty little device, the add -a zone. It's got a lot of wires coming out of it. Don't be overwhelmed, it's not a big deal. These are the two wires that are coming from the controller. The orange and white will get connected to my red wire that's coming from the controller, the good wire. The brown and white wire are zone two. We're gonna connect that to this valve over here, which is a green wire that's being looped into this box. So we'll be connecting that to this green wire right here. The blue wire and white wire will get connected to the valve right here or these two solenoid wires. And I'll show you that right now. All right, we'll start with the orange wire. That's the going to be connected to the good wire here. Get those wrapped around. Get a wire nut on there. And the white wire is going to go to the common wire coming from the controller, the one adjacent to the orange wire here. Get a wire nut on there. All right, and next will be zone two, or excuse me, yeah, zone two. We're gonna go ahead and connect it to the common wire that is looped going into this box over here. The white to the common. 
And while I got the wire in front of me, we'll connect the brown wire to the green wire. Get a wire nut on that one. Get a wire nut on that one. And then we're on to the blue and white. The blue wire will get connected to the solenoid here, or zone number one. The white wire will get connected to the other solenoid wire. Let's go ahead and get a wire nut on there. Get a wire nut on this one. And then we'll set this here so you can see the light when it comes on. Now for the fun part, let's turn on zone number one. And there you go. You got the green light for zone number one, and zone number one is coming on. Beautiful. Let's turn zone number one off. And there you go. It just turned off. All right, zone number one worked. Let's turn on zone number two. And there's zone number two. It turns on the red light, and it turns on that zone over there. You saw, saw me install this product at two valves right next to each other. But you can actually install this product at valves that are up to 500 feet from each other. So it's a very versatile tool. In addition to that, if you're trying to add a master valve to a system, this is also a great tool for that as well. This is the Adazone. I use them. 